This is serious. This is girl talk time. If you don't have a best friend, then that's what I'm here for. And I hope you take my advice. Hey guys, it's Lynn back at it again with another video. So today I just wanted to do like a sit down talk with you guys. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about self-love or like confidence. If you're struggling with low self-esteem, then we're just going to nip that right in the butt. Just a quick disclaimer, just because I posted this video, it doesn't mean that I'm perfect. And there's just certain things that I feel like I should share with you guys. And I'm still working on it till this day. I'm not completely 120% fully confident self-care professional i'm not a therapist nothing like that i just want to share with you guys what i've learned and how i try to keep my self-esteem up or like how i try to keep my confidence high okay tailor these things to yourself as you are i'm not telling people to think like me to be like me because you are your own person and whatever you believe in that's that's just what you believe in and whatever i'm saying do not take it personal I mean, if you can relate, then I just hope you can relate because otherwise, what's the point of this video? You know what I'm saying? But this is not a video to bash anybody or like anybody personal in my life. Like these are just things that I've noticed or like things that I've gone through that I want to share. So it's not towards anybody in particular. It's just in general. So I have a couple notes on my phone. First thing I want to talk about is um, like your inner peace. So I think a lot of times when you feel insecure or you feel like you're down, or you feel like you're not happy and stuff like that. I feel like it begins with your inner peace. So whatever you feel on the inside, you're going to showcase that when you're out and about or when you're like hanging out with your friends or when you're getting to know people. Your inner peace is where your self-love derives from. For example, when I say inner peace, I mean like, how do you feel when you're alone? Like, how do you feel about yourself internally? How do you feel when people tell you things about yourself that are not true so if someone comes to you and they tell you like well, I don't like you because you're never there when I need you and stuff like that you have to decide for yourself whether or not you are truly there for that person um, or at least you try your best to be if they're saying that you're not there for them but you really are then just tell yourself like I do hold my part in being there for you even something as simple as on the outside like as a physical trait if you if you love your eyebrows and somebody tells you that your eyebrows are like too thin or too thick or you don't draw them right and it's like no i like my eyebrows so that's just like inner peace coming to terms with how you feel coming to terms with what you think about yourself that goes into my next point too like if you're always talking negative about yourself you will never feel positive about yourself because if someone's like oh you look pretty today and then you're like oh no i look like crap you know whatever you say just train yourself not to say stuff like that just accept it you know if someone compliments you just say thank you but don't bash yourself and be like oh no like i don't like this about myself or i don't like this this is the first step to self-care sit down and write down all the things that you love about yourself and then after you've done that and you really have like told yourself this is what I like about me or this is who I am then sit down and write all the bad stuff about yourself and pick and choose you know what you don't like like if you don't like that you talk too loud so you just gotta self reflect I mentioned in my in my video before that like before I was super super insecure about my forehead I know a lot of people are more insecure about like their acne or um, they're insecure about their nose or they're insecure about their lips or they're insecure about their eyelids because they don't have, um, you know, like they, they have monolids. I can't think of any examples. So that's the reason why I'm going to use my own examples. I hope you guys don't take it um, as like gloating or or self-pity like it's it's not about that i used to be super insecure about like my forehead and how large it is and how like it's my hairline's like so back and like it's just like boxy and it's not round and i looked in the mirror one day and i just told myself like how come everybody else in your life that matters to you can look at you and tell you that you're you're pretty you're beautiful you're gorgeous you're flawless when i was working at the movies like i would get a lot of strangers coming up to me asking me like what's your ethnicity um you're so gorgeous have you ever thought about modeling and this and that and then 
after so many times, it just made me realize like, why can't I see that in myself? Like, why can't I look at myself and not just see my insecurities? Why can't I just feel like how they feel? I started to question myself and whether my opinions about myself was valid. Like if I didn't have my big forehead, it wouldn't be me. You guys would look at the camera and be like, is that Linda? It wouldn't be me anymore. So I just accepted it. Going back to inner peace, I just accepted it. I was like, you know what? It's larger than everybody else and it's okay because that's what makes you you and that's what makes you look the way you do. And you just gotta accept that it is what it is. That's just where it begins. So it begins with your inner peace. And that's the thing too, like when you say something bad about somebody to attack somebody's personality or who they are as a person, saying like, I don't like Janet because she's oh Stuff like that, it's just like uncalled for. And you don't need to speak on it, you shouldn't be like that. Because at the end of the day, when you say all that stuff, what is that gonna do for you? Bashing is not building. So when you bash someone, you're too focused on the fact that you're worried about them. Whatever you say, whatever goes on in your mind, and whatever transfers through your mouth is your honest personality. So if you're always constantly speaking bad things out, you're never gonna get anything positive back in because it's all flowing through your head and then it's coming out and you're getting that feedback. When you should be spending that time thinking about yourself and how you react and how you are, there's just no room to be hating other people or there's just no room to be thinking negative thoughts about other people when you should really think about what you're saying and what you're doing but I'm saying if you know me personally I just always tell my friends like if you don't take care of yourself then who's gonna take care of you because that's nobody else's job you know what I mean so you gotta make sure you're good before you try and go help other people or before you try and go and make others happy and that means like mentally emotionally um, physically what you think about yourself you know anyway so just believe in yourself whatever you think you could do whether or not it's being famous being a doctor being a surgeon being a medical assistant being a CNA whatever you want to be a youtuber whatever you want to be just believe in yourself because it all starts with you and if you don't believe yourself no one else will believe you I acknowledge my own self-worth my confidence so you trust yourself to tell somebody like Say your boyfriend or your whoever, someone you're talking to is like treating you like you're nothing or they tell you that you're nothing. So you need to dig deep within yourself and tell yourself, no, like this is not what I deserve. Like if you're in an abusive relationship or mentally abusive, physically abusive, I'm here to tell you that it needs to end. I'm here to tell you that this is a sign that you saw this video. I'm here to tell you that you deserve better. And I'm here to tell you guys that it will get better. One day you're gonna find somebody better and you might think like, oh no, like he's my soulmate or like I can't see myself with anybody else or I don't, I just don't even wanna be in a relationship. I just wanna be single. Whatever it is, brighter days will come, whatever it is. So just leave before it's too late. Like I said, you have to sit down and know who you are. No one really honestly truly knows who they really really truly 120% They don't honestly truly know everything about themselves because we're growing every day, right? We're always trying to do better to better ourselves and like Self-growth, you know if you're not thinking about bettering yourself then I guess you're perfect. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you but I would think people actually think about like how they could better themselves and the way they think you know so um your self-worth comes with you deciding who you really are. So if you know that you're there for people or if you know that you make a pretty darn good sandwich and <laughs> you would be a good wife one day or you could cook good um, or like you know that you're just a naturally loving person no matter how many times they hurt you, you're still going to love them, then know that about yourself. And consider it as one of your your strengths you know that's who I truly am and I'm proud of it you know you need to be proud of all the good things that you are and that's how you're gonna hit the end goal of your self-worth so when someone tries to tell you you don't deserve this you don't deserve me being nice to you you don't deserve me buying you things or you don't deserve my time the sooner you notice that the sooner you should get out of it and this this the sooner you'll get stronger to tell somebody else when you meet somebody else and they try to 
um, undermine you as a person and you're just like nope I'm not putting up with that because I know for myself that I, I mean good my intentions are good and you just cut it out of your life you just cut that bitch off it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off <laughs> I'm just kidding yeah, but you just gotta cut them out of your life and that comes with toxic energy too and like a lot of times when you try to tell people like I'm worth more than this or like I don't deserve this when you try to say stuff like that people perceive you as like oh she thinks that she thinks that she deserves everything but it, that's not the case let people think whatever they want like you yourself at the end of the day need to know what you are capable of putting up with if that's not something that you can put up with then you just gotta cut it loose because that goes into you being in a toxic environment and the more you're in a toxic environment you will never find your self-worth you will never find yourself loving yourself you will never gain the confidence to just be you what kind of life is that you know every person is unique yeah. You deserve to be yourself. Don't ever try to be somebody else. If you like something about somebody and you want that to be a part of you, then you can alter it in ways that you want that to be you. But always be original. Always be real with yourself. But always be original. Always be real with yourself. Always tell yourself, hey, you know what? I like what she's wearing and I'm going to go buy it. And then you go and buy the shirt and you rock it in a different way. That's you. And everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, where did you get that shirt? You just gotta find yourself. I think with confidence, the more you know about yourself, the more it'll just show. It's not something that you fake, you know? If you just try to fake your confidence, people will see through it in your actions. Because I've met a lot of people who um, swear that their self-confidence is up the roof or they swear that they're, you know, they're grounded. And when I see them interacting with people, I can definitely tell that there's just some issues that they're still battling with which is okay but i'm just saying you can't fake it you know and that just goes back to like if you swear that you're confident and you're over here trying to turn a neutral friend against their friend someone that you don't like that right there is not confidence behavior and i hope that makes sense because i don't know how else to explain it you know, like if you truly love yourself, you don't wish bad on other people. Even someone that you don't like, you don't wish bad for them. And you especially don't wish bad for your friend. And if you want your friend to turn on friends that you don't necessarily care for, then that, you, that you're just wishing bad on people. It doesn't matter if they're your friend or they're strangers, you just don't wish bad. And that comes with success too. Like if your friends are doing better than you are in life, it's hard. You know, it's hard because you know for yourself, I should probably be doing more. But that doesn't mean that you don't get to be happy for them. Like, oh, you think you're so high because you're doing this. Like, because then that's just like not confidence behavior again. Or that you even love yourself. Or that you even believe in yourself. Oh, and then next thing too. Because as much as we don't want to have that behavior, Sometimes we do and we don't even notice it. You gotta self-reflect and you gotta tell yourself, I am not, I'm not that person. Like, I don't know why I said that. So you have to learn, you know? So you have to tell yourself, I am not my mistakes. I am not my bad behavior. Unless it's repeated, then obviously there's something going on there. And then that's just the cycle of self-growth. There's gonna be a lot of confusion when you're trying to change and transform and be a better person and stuff you're always gonna have these conflicts of like who am I am I this person am I that person why do I do this why do I do that why don't I do more of this like you're just gonna be confused so just accept you unconditionally with your good and your bad and just do better oh and then you have to tell yourself that you deserve love you deserve compassion you deserve empathy um, that you are enough because if you never feel like you deserve love or good things in life, that's just toxic energy that you're putting back into yourself. Like, that goes back to me saying, don't talk bad about yourself. <sighs> this is hard for me because this is something that I'm working on and it's about like trying to be a people pleaser. That's who I am, you know? If you don't know, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are into like zodiac signs or anything like that, but I'm a Pisces and I believe that I have Pisces characteristics, which one of them is being a people pleaser. And it's a love-hate relationship, you know? Like I love that I feed off of making other people happy, 
because that means that I put others before myself but then I take it to the extreme sometimes and I don't think of myself and how I feel before somebody else and sometimes with self-love and self-care you have to be selfish and you're gonna feel bad at least I feel bad like you can't be a people pleaser all the time not a hundred percent of the time no you need to have a good balance of you putting yourself first and knowing when to put other people first it's just that perfect balance and I'm still working on it if you have toxic people in your life you really need to cut them out because the more you're around that energy, like the more you're letting yourself be around somebody that constantly makes you feel mad or sad or angry or um, just uncomfortable, you just don't need any of that in your life. Especially when you're trying to reconstruct yourself and that person doesn't fit in the category of better, then there's your answer. If someone doesn't see that or they don't recognize their own behavior, that's toxic to you and you just don't want to feed off of that energy because you might not know it. You might be like, oh, I'm not easily influenced. Like, I, I think for myself, you know. But after so many times, like, it's going to get drilled in your head and you're going to realize, like, you're catching on to their negative energy. And the day that you discover yourself is a, is a day that you become fierce. It's the day that you get to manifest your life. You just get to tell people what you're going to tolerate and what you don't. And that's fair, right? Because it's with the intention of being a good person and you just don't want none of that clouding your judgment. And don't feel bad for making decisions that upset other people because you just can't make everybody happy in the world. You just can't. You're not responsible for their happiness. Like I said, you're responsible for your own self, your own happiness, your own thoughts, your own feelings. So unless you go around hurting other people, then you just kind of do whatever makes you happy and the rest will gravitate. So if you know for yourself what you're worth and what you want in your life and what you're going to tolerate, the rest will follow. And all those iffy people will just, they're just going to exit out of your life. You just hope that the door doesn't hit them on the way out. This is a big one. This is a very big one. Regardless of what people feel about you, whatever people feel about you, that's what they feel. And most of the time, you're not going to be able to change their mind. So whatever they feel about you, let them feel it. And just let them be. You know, you don't need to convince. You don't need to prove yourself. You don't need to show people these like random acts of kindness just because people are making you feel like you're you're not a good person if you take all this time to self-reflect and better yourself chances are you're a decent person and if someone's really trying to bash you it's not your problem it's it's probably theirs just accept it and move on because you can't change other people's mind you know as much as we would like to we can't change other people's mind so your actions will speak for itself and if they don't see it then see the bigger picture and like the thing with with um bettering yourself self-growth like love and care and stuff like that for yourself you have to keep an open mind because if you're close-minded and you have a one-track mind it's not gonna work it's it's just not gonna work try to understand people and why they do the things they do because the more you understand why someone is acting a certain way you realize sometimes, most of the time, that those issues are not because of you. They're just doing things because maybe they're going through something in their life or maybe they're just doing things because they're going through something personal. Like they're trying to work on their self-love and maybe it just is making them cranky. So you just keep an open mind, try to understand where all the hate and negativity is coming from first and then judge for yourself. Do I really want to put up with this? Do I really deserve this? Is this something that I want in my life? Is this fitting in my self-growth category? If the answer is no, then leave it alone. I spent so much time telling you guys about self-love and like how to, you know, I didn't even tell you guys that like when you're like in a sad, depressed moment in your life, I think the most important thing is to take time to yourself. Sometimes you just gotta tell yourself like, I need to be alone. So go and take a bath. Go and light a candle, take a bath, sit there, stay off of the social media because it's just not going to help you. If you're into journaling, just journal whatever you feel. Do not vent on social media. If you want to post something, you just want to post it and be done with it, then cool. No one's going to care. 
But if you're constantly ranting on your social media, it's okay to struggle, but you don't want to constantly like make people feel like they have to pity you because that's not self-love and like it's hard for people to believe in you that you're trying to do better if you're constantly focused on the negative especially when you get into relationships don't lose who you are so like don't alter your life just for that one person like i mean there's compromises that you have to make and stuff like that but i'm saying like don't lose who you are so just because you're in a new relationship don't forget about your friends that have been there when you had no one and don't forget what you love so even if you're in a relationship take time to be in your relationship and make you know your compromises spend time with you know your significant other but don't forget who you are as a person don't forget that if you love makeup take time to do makeup in the day if you love crafting and art take time to do that you know step away from the relationship and have something outside for yourself because if you're constantly just wrapped up in that relationship and you're just around them 24 7 there's a chance that it might get toxic so you just never know don't lose your values your beliefs don't lose yourself basically hold hold on to who you are because most of the time that's what attracts men anyways like when you have when you have your own set of thoughts when you have your own set of things that you like to do people like a busy woman you know they don't like somebody that just wants to like cling on to them 24 7 so it's just like you got to be your own self but also know how to balance it and be a, be a good girlfriend or you know whatever because people wake up one day and they're just like you know what i'm done with this relationship i can't i don't want to be with you no more i found somebody else whatever the case may be you just never know and that's why you don't want to lose yourself loving them because when they leave you have nothing you gave up everything you burnt all your bridges for that one person so now you're gonna go back to your friend that you haven't talked in like six months or a year even and you're gonna be like hey can we talk i really need you right now and nobody wants nobody wants those kind of friends nobody wants to hear from those kind of friends like of course we wished well and like if they're really your friend they'll be there of course we know that but it's just like it's hurtful you know you're being inconsiderate of that person's feelings when when they have done nothing wrong and you just ghosted them and then now all of a sudden you want to come back oh don't forget to step out of your comfort zone do not ever get too comfortable that goes with everything don't ever get too comfortable with people don't ever get too comfortable in your situation getting too comfortable is never healthy for your for your mental health once you stop stepping out of your comfort zone you're just gonna fall in this rut like you're just gonna not push yourself to do better so if you just always stick to what you know and what you like then who knows what else you will you will like or who knows what opportunities would come when you step out of your comfort zone you're gonna learn more about yourself and who you are so if you're pushing yourself to do something that, that you normally wouldn't do, you might find out things that you never knew. And you're just going to be proud of yourself. If it's a bad outcome, then don't do it again. You know? But if it turns out good, then now you know. You're just learning more about yourself that you didn't know before. Don't get discouraged. It's hard. It's hard. You know, social media has a lot to do with this. So just don't get discouraged. Just keep going. Um, forget people that don't care about what you're trying to do because they're probably not in your best interest anyways so it doesn't matter avoid trying to feel sorry for yourself and pity yourself and also with that too is avoid being jealous of somebody you could be so good at practicing your self-love and the minute you get jealous and you have all these like malicious thoughts in your head and you're like oh my gosh like why does she have that and i don't when you compare yourself to other people and you you start to get jealous that's when it becomes unhealthy everyone has that natural like instinct or not natural instinct but everybody has that nat natural like reaction when you see some somebody post about something or like you see like all these idols like you know someone's famous and they have all these things or something like that or like someone's just a really good person and you wish you could be that person or you aspire to be like them of course you're gonna feel some type of jealousy because you're like dang you're a natural like how come i'm not like that of course you're gonna have those thoughts but don't get too deep in it to where like there's a difference between like being jealous and like envying someone when you're jealous it's like oh you just have these thoughts like man that sucks like why don't i don't have that i wish i did but when you get too deep into it 
and you like compare yourself and you're like well like what does she do that she like has all these things or like just start to get too deep into your thoughts and you start to compare yourself and like ask yourself questions like why don't I have this and that you're just feeling sorry for yourself and you're not gonna get anywhere with those kind of thoughts just accept yourself like you know what I don't have those things but I'm happy and they have those things and that's great that's awesome that's cool one day I'm gonna work towards that and you just move on because of course there's people that are gonna be prettier than you there's people that are gonna have more than you there's people that that just in general will have it all and you and you will feel like they have it all but it's not it's not healthy to just obsess over that you know yeah but moral of the story is that you need to love yourself have confidence not an ego and not like cockiness and um know your worth everything that has to do with you that should be your number one priority no one's gonna be better at being you than your own self i feel like this video is gonna be so long but I just wanted to sit down and have a girl talk with you guys and I pretty much have said everything I feel like I needed to say. So if you guys feel like you want more of these videos or you enjoy these talking videos, then just let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn your post notifications on. And like I said, you either like it, love it, or you leave it. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.